In today's episode, don't show up to my house again. Leave me alone. I felt this hand around me, and I'm like, what the You will see what happens when creeps and stalkers go way too far. I got, I got residents telling you that you're looking in the windows. Why are you here? I just want to see you. I just want to be with you before you leave. And cops have to step in. That sounds like stalking to me. That's a felony crime. Stalking. Yes, stalking. Well, then she's the stalker. Because she's at her work and you showed up? Yep. First, you'll meet Henry, who caused fear and dread among several residents of an apartment complex in Lake County, Florida. Apartment manager Kimberly spotted him moving from door to door and asked him to leave after he confirmed he was not a resident of the complex. When he refused to leave, she called the police, and before they arrived, she saw him hiding a weapon. I got called about you. I don't know what to keep calling you for. You're not looking at people's movie or hey, people's uh, windows? What you got going on? <laughs> huh? What you want, bro? bro. What, you, what are you doing? Hours. What does it look like I'm doing? Walking around. In an apartment complex? You live okay, here? Okay, yeah. I told you that already. I told them that too. You told what? Oh, nothing. You asked them. They should have told you. They called you. So do you live here? Did I just say you? Huh? Huh? You know, you can hear. What? What's up? Bro, speak to me. Are What's up? Just, What's up? I'm I don't asking about nothing because I ain't, I ain't did nothing wrong. I'm walking around. What, what did I do? I got people saying you're looking at people's windows. No, I'm not. And then you don't live here. Who said that? All right, then. I done asked you three times, so man, tell me. Why, G, man? You tell, I'm telling you, you got to stop, bro. I call 47. You ain't doing nothing wrong. Cut. What's else? your name? Stop following me. So I got I got residents telling you that you're looking in the windows. So why are you here? So why are you here? Do you live here? What's your, what's your address? All right, you better stop, man. I don't have to. Hey, stop. Stop falling behind me. Like I said, first time. Go talk to them. See what they trying to do. Leave me alone. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Go ahead. You ain't free to leave yet. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Well, you, not until you dispel I'm my not fear while you're here. Nothing. Why were you here? Go ahead. Bro, I'm not doing nothing wrong. So we just want your story. Yeah, I'm right, not telling you nothing. Ain't no story to tell. I'm walking the fuck around. I can walk around anywhere the fuck I want. Like, I ain't messing with nobody. It's broad daylight. You picking at people's windows? Bro, no, I'm not. Okay. Stop talking to me. I got invited over to oh, somebody's man. house. I went to their house. They not. They ain't answering the door. So go talk to them. Leave me alone. Go talk to her. Well, right what's there. their name? Leave me alone. I'm not telling nobody else's name. Whose house were you going to? Leave me alone, bro. Go talk to her. Okay. Go talk to her and see what you want to do. Trust you, me, you whatever. You told me I can go talk Stop to her. Stop talking to me. Oh, well, don't talk she to me. She over there. I don't want to talk to me. Go talk to her. That's the manager. Go. Chill out. Leave me alone. Okay, bye. Go talk to her then. I can chill the f*** out. You're not free to leave you right now. I don't give a damn what you said. Go talk to her. Get out my face. Okay, you try to walk away. Bro, go talk to her. Leave okay. me You're going into handcuffs. You try to walk away. I just said. Henry is desperately trying to divert the police away, so he directs them to Kimberly. But he's unaware that she will be the one to get him handcuffed with her statement. Can you talk to me right here? Look, before you guys got here, I've been following him. He put a gun over here behind our AC unit. Okay. We saw him put it there. It's a gun there. Turn around, put your no, hands on your back. No, I'm not doing none of that. I'm not doing none of that. Don't touch me. 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 What is y'all doing? What is y'all doing? Why you doing this? Put your hands behind your back. I gotta do none of that. Put your hands behind your back. You're gonna get tased. You're gonna get tased. Oh, what? 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 Oh, what?
Uh, yeah, air, air pistol. Although the weapon isn't real, Henry just found himself in more trouble. The police are now questioning Henry's motives, considering he was seen peeping through windows, sitting in front of other people's doors and banging on them. More witnesses will come forward with their creepy stories saying that Henry has been stalking and following residents around the apartment complex. Since he hasn't made physical contact with nobody, for now, he could only be charged with loitering and prowling and resisting arrest. But we'll see if the police uncover anything else. She said that she saw him banging on that apartment door down there. He went inside and opened her gate and sat on her porch and was banging on her door. She has a video camera as well. So you should be able to get footage. Okay. 701. Okay. Okay, sorry. It's all right. It's okay. You're all right. Nothing even happened. I'm just nervous. Okay. <laughs> I was just taking the laundry down and he was fine, he was friendly. Mm -hmm. He opened the door and he didn't really expect to see me there. I don't know if he realized it was a laundry room or not. And I thought he lived here because he was super friendly. And he was like, oh, what's your name? And I told him, I'm, oh, I'm Alex. I like, wasn't telling him where I live, but mm -hmm. he's like, oh, I'm Henry. The name he gave and he just was looking at me and he washed his hands. Yeah, is that other here? <laughs> And he was sitting, on, he just sat down on the table, he didn't have any hey, And I got what out there, I didn't feel there was and music I don't playing know in the if he followed me third, no call to the apartment or not, but he got there really quick. Tempor and then he said, up. oh, I can't believe I found you. She walked out the door and he was there. Okay, to your apartment? Yeah. Yeah, and he was talking to me normal. He asked me if I smoked. I was like, no, I don't smoke. And my mom, she got me back inside, thankfully. And mm -hmm. that was he bad. sat on our by our front door just like 10 minutes 10 minutes straight and then that's when he walked over the trip and was banging on her door and then he opened her gate and then he sat there and then he was walking back and forth for like minutes upon minutes okay did you see him looking in any windows like well, he was looking at her window just trish's window from what i could see oh and Tim, a, you can close it off. kid also came and talked to him and he followed that kid too which made me nervous but he came back, but he was following that kid around too. I don't know where that kid went. Okay. Oh, what's your name? Uh, you're going to jail. I mean, for what? Resisting arrest. I did not resist you tackle me for well, nothing. What told you to put your hands behind your back no, and you, you, were, you were backing no, up? You, know, you can't detain me for nothing. It's all, it's all, on, it's all on body cam. That's fine. If you don't want to give us your name, they'll, 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 they'll find out. They'll find out at the jail. So what? What did you see happen? Because we got a call here saying he was looking around in the windows right. and so earlier I was walking up and I saw him standing by this wall. I saw him standing there. So I'm like, well, what is he doing? So when he saw me, he kind of flipped this hoodie up so I couldn't see his face. So I walked past and I came back. He was standing on sitting on a green tank. I saw him walk around. He the went, trash trash bin? No, the green tank. Like, like a little like further. Oh, I know what he's talking about. The electrical box. So then he cut through here, and then my maintenance guy saw him slide, put something underneath the AC unit. I said something to him. I said, do you live here? And, and he, he said, walking away? no, he said, no, I don't live here. I'm waiting for someone. And that's when he just kept like wandering around. As I was walking by, the lady in 403, she said, hey, did you see this guy? He's looking through people's windows. Step out. Wait. Okay. You can step out now? Bro, you taste me this fucking <laughs> Come on now. I'm trying, I'm going to ask Okay. Are you real sweet now? Yes, sir. Come What's the last name? Coleman? Gamble Coleman. Gamble Coleman. Shit. Where's your legs? Henry? Yep. No, the damn! Chill out, bro. Chill out. My leg hurts! I don't care! You should have done for nothing. Just chill. Ah! Henry was charged with burglary to an occupied dwelling, resisting arrest without violence, and engaging in loitering and prowling. It is worth mentioning that he has already been charged with burglary in the past. Hey, how are you doing? What's going on? No, no. Talk to me real quick. No, I'm good. I need to talk to you right now. I need to I'm you... trying. I'm trying to keep you out of trouble. Do you stay here? Yes. Which room? I'm going to. Huh? I'm going to. 
Where is it? I was trying to talk to my mother. So if you want to, if that's what people call you in because you're dancing around, you're acting all weird. What is what is the problem right now? Why are you acting that way? Do you have ID on you? Lieutenant 94, Why are we doing this? Because I'm trying to go to my room. Where's like, your room? 207, you said. Like, why are you? What, you because people call you in for welfare check. Look, 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 look. Right. You're human, right? Yes. Are you human? Are you Absolutely. Am I human? Yes. Can you respect me like I respect you? I'm trying. I'm trying to talk no, to you. No, you're not. That's not respect. If I do what you do, do you, see, do you see his respect? I'm trying to go see where my mother is. Your to... mom's staying here? Yes. Where? I don't. I thought she was in the room, but she is in the room. So you're not staying here, though. Why I don't we am. Go... Look, I have Why a... don't we go to the front look, office? Look, look, look. Come here. Look, look, look. Come on. Come on. Right. I'm look, coming. Look my mom. Look my mom. Come on. Where's your shoes? This is what my mother did. I'm trying to go talk to my mother. So why is she not opening the door? Because me and my mama have issues. She has demons. I just want to talk to her so I can calm down because I have anxiety. I have all these different... That's why I'm trying to help you. You ain't listening when I'm telling you I'm trying to go to my room. Your mom's I'm... not in here, they told me. My mother is in here. I'm in this right room, here. you got the key? I'm trying to talk to my mother right here. So you got the key? No, I don't have the keys. The people that I know is in here. I'm trying to talk to my mother because she's in there, but she having too much... Why don't we go to the front office? Yeah, I ain't going to no where is your room? Look, take, take, I want to talk to Show mom. me your room. Show me your room number. Right here. My room right here. What do you mean my it's room right, right here? Here. You said this. Oh, your room is over my, there. My, my room right here. Is that your mom? Yes, this this right you here. You better be glad. Shut the the be you gonna swing on me open the door? Put your hands behind your back. Hey, hey. Put your hands behind your back. Hey, hey. Put your hands behind your back. So you saw what you said? How the fuck off of you? Yeah. Come on, man. Let me talk to you. Come on. All right, man. Hold on. Oh, so you want? You turn around. So hold on, hold on. Hey, hey. Turn around. Hey, let me tell you something. Turn around. Turn around. Listen, this is dinner. Turn around. My mother is in here. I heard her. You got a gun in here. Listen. You tell her. I heard it. I'm gonna put this hand behind your back. I don't want to. I want to look. 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 Just listen. You are not gonna get away. You're not listening to me, and this is making it bad for us. Of course, this is the first time a black man in. So but hey, man, come here. Why is he thinking he's big and bad just because he's doing it hard? I saw her. And I heard her. She screamed my name. If you chill, I'm gonna sit you up. You act up again, we're gonna go down Stop. again. You understand? Yeah. We'll take care of that downstairs. Not, not, not. But I'm telling you right now, you need, he... to, you need to chill. Hey, look, look, this is... You need to chill. I'm trying. What did you take? What did you take? The officer didn't get an answer, but he's right. The suspect is indeed very high on drugs. This is Omar, and in the past 24 hours, he has harassed multiple times the couple you're currently watching. First, he offered the woman money to come into his room, and later he tried to force his way into their apartment, leading to a physical altercation. Omar claims that his mom lives there, and during the incident, he actually had a weapon in his pocket. So now, let's see what the officers will find out about him. The dead, the white girl. And then he fu- Alright, alright, you know what? I'm gonna make sure his mother knows. Look, bro, you can get down with the car. My friend is dead. My mother is in there. As far as I know that, I'm gonna figure it out. My, 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 my uncle of the- My uncle of the Air Force Marines is in there. And he ain't even fighting, so I know it's something wrong. I'm trying to help you. Like I told you from the second I got here, but you you're not listen. working with me. I try, but you don't listen No, you don't. You don't listen. Because you don't even tell me what you took. You, you took something. You're on something. That's what I'm saying right there. What? You ain't listening. Do you have anything on you? I want to talk to you. Do you have anything on you? I'll talk to you in a minute when you, I sit you in the look, car. I, I got a firearm on me, I believe, but... Where? I don't know, but listen. I got it from when he hit, when he swung on me, and he, he basically swung... What's like, his name? Mark. He's a bald-headed, he's a bald-headed guy. He swung on me, and when, whatever he, whatever he swung at me, he swung at me. I want to show you. Can I show you? Can you just not put me in there and I take you to it? I want to see for myself. Guys, something's not right with you what and you're not honest with me. Of I'm, course. You're not honest with me. What would you're you not. do? You're not listening. You don't care about me or No, something? because you don't answer my question the second I got here. I'm asking you right now again. What did you take? Are right, you listening? You're hyper as shit, And it's not normal what you're doing right now. Where do you live? You don't even tell me your name. I have nothing on you. Are you listening? Are you listening? I'm trying. What's your name? You know I'm five percent white, right? Huh? I'm five percent white. You know that, right? It doesn't matter. It seems like it, it doesn't matter to me. All right, so listen. So, what's your name? Omar. Where did you come from? Where do you live? 
I came from over there. I was looking for my mom. Where do you live? I live in the same apartment. I live in the same apartment, bro. I live in the same apartment. What apartment? There's a hotel. That's not an apartment complex. He's probably up there killing my. He's probably got my family at knife point and gunpoint right now. The rest of my family, I don't have, bro. All right, go have a seat in the car. No, 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 no. Have a seat in the car. Stop. Chill out. Chill out. Are you, do you worship Satan or do you worship God? Listen, we're gonna put you in the car so we can figure this out. Okay? I want to. Uh, just please. We'll talk to you. We'll work I know, but this is right here. Is, can, that is a murder right there, and then you can probably get felony. We'll I'll go out. upstairs real quick and look. Yeah. All right. Would you? Me. Would you want me to? If you? If you think that your family's life is in danger and somebody. Okay, so you, okay, so he's staying with you. I'm right here. Put your feet in. You, you, put your, he's staying with you. Can we do something, right? To the point where it's like this. Over there, where my room is at, I heard somebody and I saw verbally somebody trying to get out and the door was slamming. I didn't do nothing but like knock on the door, try to get up in there. I, I'm like, I know the people in there. I have family in there. My uncle's in there. My mom is in there. I don't know who my brother and my sister is because you know, my mom has issues. So who are those two people that were in there right now? The black, the white lady, I don't know, but she seemed like she was scared in case you didn't notice. And his eyes were red, like bloodshot red. Who's the black guy? That's what I'm saying. His name is Mike. I saw him in there. So what's your relationship to the Mike, the black guy? I don't know. I think it's my uncle's friend. I don't know, or maybe it's the guy that my uncle met. But you don't know the chick that's in there. You don't recognize her or anything? That's probably the, that's probably Raven's mother, for all I know. Okay, what's your first name? Omar, Omar, Ezekiel, from the Bible. I, my, my life is all like the Bible right now. Well, it seems the Bible guy definitely wasn't in his right mind, so it's fortunate he didn't use the weapon he had with him during the conflict. As you can see, he imagined that his family was in that apartment and that their lives were in danger, but the story is completely different. Now you'll hear what the victims and the hotel staff have to say, and you'll quickly get a picture of what really happened. I don't know what he took, but he's... He has a whole bunch of pipes and zip yeah. Yeah. Could you just go yeah, over yeah. what happened again to him? She come back running in the room. She like, this dude, I said, what dude? She said, he tried to give me to my $200 come in his room. And she said, he got some, some like paper over his mouth, he like took, old teeth. He took uh -huh. the gum from a rapper and put it right this. He goes, you know who I am? So like, well, he was trying to like lure me in and he kept kind of like following me like this and like really trying to, and I'm like, hey, I'm like, um, I said I'm with him, he's like, I got scared, you know, I don't know. So she ran into him. Yeah. So I went out there and I let him know, I said, listen, man, I said, you can't be approaching me women's like this here, you scam them. Right. I said, when you see that lady walking, bro, leave her alone. And the old lady right here, don't say nothing to them, leave them alone. He didn't say nothing. Everything was cool. Uh-huh. Uh, this morning he trying to break the f***ing door to come yeah. in. So he just walked up to your door out of nowhere? She Charles walked out, she said, she said somebody banging on the door real hard trying to get in. I'm thinking it's my family yeah. too, so uh -huh. I said, hold on. And when I peek, I it's can't see nothing. He covered it. He covered so it I said, who the f*** is this? Well, when I open the door, he it's put his foot like this. He said, let me in the room where this girl. I said, man, get your ass. Pushed him. Really I pushed him out. Okay. Yeah. I mean, so after you pushed him out, the door closed again, and you stayed out until I got here? He stayed right there with no, his hand door. in his pocket. Okay. So that's well, we found the gun in the front right pocket. That's so when he see. walked in and tried to get in your room, did he have the hand in his pocket? He had his hand in his pocket then. Okay. He had his hand like this and his foot in the door. I already know I'm not stupid. So okay. when I punched him, I pushed his ass out the door and shut the door and locked it. Okay. And told her, I said, now you call the police. talking to my child your your daughter lives here yes. with you yes. you all live together right. does he stay here no he's not from here hi so you understand that her mom don't want you here she's not answering the phone yeah, so. and i respected that so the first time she asked me i didn't come mm -hmm. and that was like a whole while ago still haven't heard now when so I, I said let me come back let me see if i could talk to him i'm just trying to talk to him i'm not doing that just can you listen to me for a second? Stop arguing with her. For what? You don't even Hello, know me. Hello, sir. You don't know me. Hello. Um, I just like your daughter. I'm trying to talk. Ma'am, can you just can you let can you let me talk to him for a second, please? Do you want to step over here and talk? Okay. So where we at now is you? You? She don't want to you talk here. To your daughter. That's it. Hello. I'm trying to speak to you. That's cool. I don't got to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to him. You gotta leave though. 
Why do I got it? Cause she you she don't want you here. Yeah, but I want to be here. Okay, so if you don't leave, you first of all, how you doing? Trespassing because you're on her property. She doesn't want you here. I'm not. This is the property right here. So let me stand over here. Though. You have no other reason to be in this complex. So I just told you my reason. Okay, and that's I'm telling you, I'm telling you that by law, you're, you, she don't want you here. Not, the I daughter's not the answering law. the phone. Okay. That's y'all statutes so, and codes. I know my law. The initial response by the officer telling the young man he must leave because the mother does not want him there aligns with Florida's trespassing statutes. The young man's move to step a few feet away onto the street complicates the issue because streets are generally considered public property, and being on public property is not usually trespassing. However, law enforcement's response can still be justified under certain circumstances, like injunction for protection, disorderly conduct or stalking or harassment, which is what he is doing right now. Okay. I know I could be. Okay. But I'm just but trying I'm to tell your daughter. That, hello, ma'am. Can you? How do I know that, door? though? How do I know that? She that that, that had to came out her mouth. So I, I asked you once, and now I'm telling you the third time. I'm gonna put my hands on you, and I'm gonna put physically remove you from the property. So you walk away, and you get in your car, or this is gonna turn into something that it doesn't have to be. That's cool. But okay. I'm just trying to talk to your daughter. That's not. That's hey, get in your car. Where's your car? Not where is your car? Listen. His car is right there. Okay, get in your car and leave. Why are you putting? Are you tensing on I me? I just explained everything to you. I told you to leave, or we're gonna I put our hands on you. And you do have to leave. Why do I have I to? I explained that What's to the you. Law? She does What's not want law? you trespassing. Well, she no, does that's not, not want a law you that here. I get arrested for? Yes, it is. You know that. It is a law. Gonna sit so, do you want to do you want to go to jail and find out? Because if you do, I will take you. You you are if you don't leave. I don't have to leave. Yes, you do. No. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't want to do that. Stay over there. Stay over there. I explained it to him three times. That's cool. You don't know what my life and what I've been going through. You are going to jail. You going to jail. We black people. You gonna go home and look. You gonna look at yourself like, damn, I arrested a kid just cause I wanted to, just cause you wanted to talk to a girl. I got it. I got it. Mind your business, sir. I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate you, sir. Hello. What's going on? A lot is going on. He's stalking me. He won't leave me alone. He's crazy. I've been recording every single time that he's come here, every single time that he's texted my phone. He's, like, harassing me, and he won't... Clearly, you see, he won't leave me alone. This isn't really? the first time he showed up here. I don't know how many times he showed up here when I haven't been home, okay? She's already told him on a previous occasion to leave me alone, and he doesn't listen. So and you don't I want him here. here, you don't want him here. No, no we told him no. several times, don't come back here. How long has this been going on this for? This has been going on for about a month now. A month? A month now. This is ridiculous. Now the victim will address the stalker for the last time and let him know she never wants to see him again. After that, the officers will issue him an official written trespass warning, and he will be arrested every time he shows up at the victim's house again. The seriousness of the situation is underscored by the fact that the officers suggest a restraining order, because as the victim states, she is very afraid for her own life. I don't want anything to do with you. Do not show up to my house again. Stop watching me and do not show up to my house again. Do you understand me? Everyone is sitting out here hearing me say this. You're hearing me say this. They're hearing me say this. Don't show up to my house again. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're okay, crazy. You're that's insane. enough. That's enough. Leave me that's alone. enough. That's enough. I don't give y'all no jurisdiction, bro. I'm not under y'all. I'm your, the living soul. What's your first name, buddy? Bro, don't worry about that, bro. You know you can't do nothing if I don't give you nothing. You can't do nothing. So this is what you need to do. Yeah. I'm going to document everything. Yeah. We're going to trespass warn him from here. It's a written. So when we do a written trespass warning, that means if any officer come back here and they see him here at your door, he can go to, he can go to jail for trespass after warning. After I trespass him, you need to take all the photos. All the videos, keep them. Don't get don't get rid of them. If he continues to text you and call you, like literally document everything. Yeah. And go back to the clerk. You already did it before. Just do it again and let them know that this is an ongoing issue. You know, you feel you feel in fear for your safety. Literally, he was harassing me through text messages all last night, and I'm just not responding. He won't leave me alone, and I hate being not left alone. Yeah. Um. 
So go to the judge, request for a restraining order, and you can just explain to the judge that it's getting to the point where police is involved yeah. and it shouldn't be like no problem. Yes. And it, and listen, if, at any time you feel is you feel in fear for your safety, callers. Like if you see him around, if you go outside, you feel somebody like absolutely call the police. Don't stop. Um, I've been on edge waiting for this to happen again. That's how bad it is because I knew it was going to happen again. I knew it. Yeah. When I'm at school, I have to watch my surroundings because he'll show up there. That's even more reason for you to go to the judge as soon as possible and make sure you do that. Okay. You are officially being trespassed from this property. You have no reason to be here. I just told you my um, That's the reason. They don't want you here. All right, that's cool. So what I have done is I have completed a written trespass form. If you come back on this property within this complex within a year and you don't, police you don't see you me. on the police. How you going to sit there and tell me that? If I want to, I could do that. And y'all can't take me to jail. You know if that. police see you on a property well, after this form you, has um, home, been completed, bro. you will that's be taken crazy. to jail. You understand you what I just said? Me. I owe myself. Do I you understand what I just said? And I No, I don't understand. What, what, you what part right don't there. you no, understand? I'll take two times, but never the what third time. part do you not understand? Bro. Stupid. Take me out these cuffs. I don't understand. You you do you understand you, you've been I trespassed? Don't take me out these cuffs now. I don't understand. Those. Okay. okay, I'm done. He's going to jail. I'm over it. I'm so done. He's going to jail. The world we live in today is insane. You think you know a person? You don't know a person. You don't know. People what do you, what do you mean crazy. by don't let you end up like the people... Like, don't let me end up dead on Fox News or something like that. Because he, I don't know, snuck behind me or was following me on my Has way Has he to ever work. snuck behind you before or, like, followed you or... One time I see him in a plaza that I was at, but I wasn't sure. I just got in my car and went away immediately because I was terrified. I'm terrified. I live every day of my life in terror. And now you'll see a man who can't come to terms with the fact that his partner left him. So he keeps calling and texting her, sending emails to the restaurant where she works. And both the victim and her co-workers had enough when he showed up in the parking lot in front of their workplace. The problem is that he doesn't see any issue with his actions and thinks she is to blame for everything. I'm trying to find, so, so these people, they just called me a drug addict. Okay. In there. Okay. And I'm trying to, I have it on my phone from my doctor blood work and they're trying to treat me for ADHD. Okay, so Matt, real quick, just so you know, everything's being recorded today, all right? Yep. Um, so, does not want you back in the restaurant. You're a trespasser there, okay. okay? I'm not going in the restaurant. Okay, if you go in there again, you will be arrested for trespassing, okay? Well, that gal, Charlene and that gal need to stop calling me a drug addict. Okay. Because it's hurting me. Okay, so you need to stop emailing. Way. You need to stop emailing and leaving them messages, or I'm going to arrest you for stalking and harassment. Well, that's what they're harassment. That's what I want to charge them with. If they ever you're the one that keeps coming here, again. and you're the one that sends listen, the emails. Listen, 15 years, that gal, the one in there was my girlfriend. I know. For, for five kids, she didn't have a job a single moment. I left her, and then she, she, she was having a mental breakdown, and she had a holes in a hole in her body, and she was a sponge of alcohol, and I had to help her. Okay, so why did you come here today? To get fries. You just and I did get fries. Why didn't you go to the shores or one of the other restaurants? Why do you have to go to where Charlene's working? Why not? Well, they're harassing you. Why would you show up here? You said they're harassing you. Why would you show up here? That makes no sense. They weren't harassing me. It was just Charlene, but her damn. Okay, she so she's stop. harassing you, but you show up here to get more. More harassment or more what? That's a relative. No, it's not a relative. So you so, drove here yeah. with no license yep. to get fries from her restaurant where she's working right now. That sounds like stalking to me. That's a felony crime. Stalking. Yes, stalking. Well, then she's the stalker. Because she's at her work and you showed up? Yep. No, of course not. I had him removed from my trailer and I yeah. kept telling him every day, leave me alone, leave yeah. me alone. I'm getting ready to move. Okay. And he's like, I just want to see you. I just want to be with you before you leave. Well, okay. and I said, no, you're not welcome at my trailer anymore. Like, leave me alone. Okay. I said, I will see you the day I leave. And that's been not good. Uh, okay, we'll get him trespassed from here. If you're trespassed from the restaurant, do not go back in there. You'll be arrested, okay? Of course, I'm trespassed from this whole okay. town. Because okay. the Asians... Okay, and the, I'm not finished. The lady at the Asian store... Or not the Asian store. The Asian lady at the Birch Bay Park store... When me and her were staying at Beachwood, she told the people that worked there that I was 
that I stole some this basket thing from out in the dumpster. And I didn't realize that she told him this because I was in there getting harassed all the time. They are asking me if I knew about stolen stuff. Well, okay. it, 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 does, more, it has nothing to do with today. It felt nothing more, to do with today. It felt more. It does. Anastasia is forwarding me the emails you've been it sending to her. To if you continue to email Anastasia and call the restaurant, I'm going to arrest you for harassment. The manager at the bar. She's forwarding all the emails. So if you continue to harass the bar, you're going to get arrested for harassment. Is that clear? Okay. If you ever call me a drug addict again... You can file a defamation of character suit in, down in district okay, court. Okay. What do I have to do to... I'm not a civil lawyer. I don't know. Get a lawyer. Go file a defamation of character suit. Okay. What about the text or whatever? What text? The text that Charlene sends me. Block her. No. She made it very clear that she wants nothing to do with okay. you. She, That's why she's okay. in hiding and you don't know where she lives. Harassment. If Mitch. you continue showing up where Char is at, I'm going to arrest you for stalking. It's a felony crime. Is that clear? She wants nothing to do with you. Well, she does, unfortunately. She wants to hurt me. No, she, she doesn't. Has. Block she her does. yes, and move does. on. Yes, she does. Block her and move on. Not worth it, man. She's going to be leaving the state soon it. anyway, so it'll probably all be resolved. But don't screw it up in the next month or two. It's not yeah, worth going to jail for, right? It's too she's such a piece of She's a piece of and you want me to no. believe anything that you say? Bad that she's such a she didn't say anything like that about you. She no, just wants to be left trust alone. Me, she does. She's. Well, you just said that to a cop on camera. She, she doesn't. She does. She just wants to be left alone and move on. That's it. She wants nothing to do with you. Okay. Okay. Can I make that any well, clearer? That means that she doesn't bad mouth me. How do you know she's bad mouthing you? Because her employee just called me a drug addict. Yes, you have a history of drug use. No, I don't. You. Have to... The man was trespassed from the restaurant and had to call someone to drive his car away because he had no driver's license. I'm just there sitting on my phone scrolling watching TikTok and I felt this hand around me and I'm like, what the f***? So I turn around he's like, oh, it's me. I'm like, you don't touch me. He's like, oh, really? Okay. I said, oh, really what? He's like, so I can't touch you? I said, the next time I'm going to hit you. So, an older man allegedly touched a younger female employee in a store and didn't see anything wrong with it. He had also approached her before and tried to establish contact with her. This time she called the police and decided to take certain legal steps because this last encounter with her stalker was very disturbing. The police didn't have to go far because the suspect was right in front of the store and this is what his story looked like. Sir, haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? You been alright? Yeah. Good. So we're here for some complaints of people on the property. From who? From the store. Really? Really. I just got here. What's your name? Billy. Billy? Yeah. Let me get your license. I know your name, so I don't need your information already. Yeah, I don't know what the complaint is. I was here five minutes when that officer walked up to me. Okay. Here. You go inside the store at all? I went in to get fill my water bottle. Okay. Yes, I do. Do you have a trespass from this location? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, we're well, we'll be, 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 be quiet. Yeah, no, I know. I th they might be going inside to try to talk to you, the other deputy. He's right there. Oh, that's him? Yeah, that's 100%. him. 100%. 100%. Okay. Just seeing him is, it's just... It's called an emotional distress? Yeah, okay. Alright, uh, do you want to press charges against him? Yes, if I feel like I'm being harassed, especially at you coming to the bus stop, that is harassment. But I'm like stalking you. You told them yes, to stop, yes, correct? I don't care what nobody say. That's harassment. You're asking me where I live. Do I need a ride? Harassing one of the employees. I come in there and I've made purchases. That's on camera document. Harassing an employee? What employee is that harass? One of the females there. If you come oh in there God. asking her about where... Does he want to speak with us knowing his rights? Never, he, never. He said he wants to speak to us. All right. So Deputy Deputy Joe Torres did a report for a battery, correct, with the victim, Francesca, about seven days ago? Battery? For who? For one of the employees. Your name is Francesca, that you were listed as a suspect in, in a case. A battery? Yeah. I was listed in a battery? Yeah. Then Her name. you remember, a battery? And the battery took place where? Here. Here. At the bus stop. They never talked to you about it? I walked up. She was sitting at the bus stop. And I walked up because she was all by herself at the closing. And, she, and I said, are you okay? She said, I'm waiting for my mother. And how many times has this happened since then? One time. That's One time? The first day she started. Uh-huh. I went in there, and I made a purchase in the liquor store. Uh-huh. She was working in the liquor store. Mm -hmm. I saw her walk over to the bus stop, and I went over there, and I said, hey, how you doing? 
Were you waiting on the bus? She says, no, I'm waiting on my mother. My mother. Uh -huh. I said, okay, I just want to make sure she was in the dark. This uh -huh. was after closing. As I'm talking to her, her mother pulls her out. Uh -huh. and picks her up, and I leave. Uh -huh. But she was sitting at the bus stop in the dark all did by you, herself. Did you go in today and talk to her today? No, I didn't. All I did was walk in there and fill my water bottle up uh -huh. and walked right out of the store. I didn't say a word to her. Have you asked employees about her or anything like that? No, the employees have told me about her. Uh -huh. That somebody was stalking her, and they, that, that, that's why she's not working at a liquor store anymore, and now she's moved on to the other side. How long has Billy been hanging out with you? Oh, good. I thought she was fired. I need to give me a favor. She's been sitting here a few minutes. Okay. They're going to take me to jail, but you're trespassed. They're going to leave you, let you go. He's not trespassed. He is trespassed. He was trespassed before me. The man was charged with trespassing and stalking and was ordered to stay away from the victim. Yeah. Where are you from? Originally. I mean, where are you from? Do you live here in the States? UK. UK? Okay. I got a 12-year-old girl saying that you had your hands down and you went like this. Touching part of her. She's a 12-year-old. I agree. That's, okay. that's wrong. Okay. So now, not only that, when she tried to confront you, the mom, you ran away. I went this way right here. Well, you ran away. Okay. I, I don't remember that. Well, you ran away because you were over here before everybody else. I went for a week, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is what's going to happen. You're lucky enough I don't have uh, independent witness. That's what we call. Okay. You're lucky enough I don't have independent witness because right now you would have been going to jail. You go to Orlando on, pro on vacation, you come back on probation. Intentionally touching a child's body part leads to criminal charges including, but not limited to, sexual assault, child molestation, or lewd conduct with a minor. The age of the victim makes this a particularly serious offense. The statement by the police about the lack of an independent witness indicates that while there is suspicion or accusation, corroborating evidence from a witness could substantially strengthen the case against the suspect. The presence of an independent witness would simply provide critical support to the victim's account. So you're lucky that I don't have enough, but this is what's going to happen. They're going to take you out of the park for today. Okay. You're not going to be able to be in the park today. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah. yeah I'm still going to do a report. It's still going to be there. And please don't make me call your, your embassy. UK embassy, they don't like that kind of game. I don't know how it is in UK, but in US we take this very seriously. And you are very lucky I don't have enough so you will go to jail. Do you understand? Listen, I saw where it happened. I saw you had enough space to walk away. I walked around her. Because I had a drink. The sidewalk's pretty it's pretty big. Yeah, have you ever been drunk? I was just there. Have you ever been drunk? Come on, guy. I'm 51 years old and I was in the military. Do you think I ever been drunk? Yes, yeah. I've, been, I've been drunk. So you walk along and you do have things by Before you keep on talking. I'm accepting you. Hold on. I'm accepting you. I know you're accepting me because we're about to go to jail. You're old enough to know that if you drink too much and you can barely walk, you should stop drinking. I agree. And that's why I'm taking the punishment. Okay. Well, that's different to like accepting that I want to be around those girls, but I don't. Okay. We're almost done, Mr. Evans. Just uh, give me a few. I'm sorry. I am sorry. No. Take me to jail now. No. Take me to jail. No. Take me to jail. Just don't stop. Take me to jail. I'm here now. Take me to jail. If I right. Oh, right. Right. You sit. Right. All right. Okay. You're pathetic. Win. Country. I don't give a about any of you, okay? You're pathetic. You're actually pathetic. You want to you want to me. You're pathetic. Fair winds, pretty union. Woo! Hey! The twin lines, Bravo, and Fair winds, pretty union. The time I hold up. Taylor, number three. Take me. They haven't canceled yet, they are going to call us to try to cancel it. I'm not scared. Take me. I was in the Oh, my God, oh, my God. 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 This is the moment when the police officer simply had enough and decided to arrest James. He quickly transformed from a shamed and frightened predator into someone behaving disorderly. This transition can be a defense mechanism. 
when an individual is confronted with their inappropriate or criminal actions, they might react with hostility and aggression as a way to deflect attention from their actions. The yelling and insulting could also be an attempt to regain control of the situation. Given that he admitted to drinking a lot during the initial questioning, due to this behavior, he could be arrested for public intoxication or disorderly conduct. Guys, look at this! Look at this! Danny, call it in! <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands back now! I'm gonna, I'm gonna break your f***ing wrist and I'm gonna do it. No, let's break it! That's okay, see what f***ing happens. I'm gonna taste you. Good, taste it. Get back, get back, get back, back! I'm gonna taste you, you better stop moving. You'll you stop. You know what tasting is? You'll stop. You know what tasting is? Yeah. You have to help me. There you go. There you go. Finally. You can't help me. North side of the park. I didn't want to taste them. Stop pinching me! Stop pinching me! I'm at Volcano Bay. Now you just got a, a battery in law enforcement office. I'm going for you. Well, if you stop acting like a fool, then I can get up from you. Okay, I'll stop acting. I'll stop acting, yeah? I didn't tell you. I'm going to breathe, okay? Okay. I'm going to breathe. Thank you. If you start acting like a fool and get on it, I'm not going to I'm not going to do anything. Hey James, I'm a supervisor here for Orlando Police Department for today. Did you want to talk to me about what's going on? Yeah, I wasn't trying to cause any trouble for anyone. Okay, can you tell me what happened? Yeah, I was escorted out of the park and I was okay. going out of the park quite happily. Do you, you remember what you were escorted out of the park for? Yeah, because apparently um, there was like another guest that I bumped into and okay. they weren't happy. So did they ask you to leave the park at that point? Yeah. Okay. And I left the park at that point. Okay. I was quite happy to leave that park. Okay. And I was leaving the park and I was waiting for the bus. Um, and then because I wouldn't, I don't know what it was, but whatever, for whatever reason, they rested me to the ground. Okay. You, do you recall the incident? No. Why? Why you got put in handcuffs and no. what happened? No. Um. Okay. So. You, as far as you were concerned, you had been asked to leave the park. You, you had no problem with that. You were leaving yeah. the park on your own accord. Yeah, I left the park. You were walking down park. here, and you came over here, and yeah. this part, yeah. you don't I don't know what this. happens, yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you can tell me about, so you don't remember the interaction between you and the officer at all? No, it, was, no. it all got very violent at that point. Okay, all right. So you're happy to leave the park, right? Um, but you still don't recall that interaction and why you're here now? So I was leaving the park and I was here and then I was maybe a bit cheeky. Okay, what is what is that? What does cheeky mean? A little, um, so little hot, like, hot tempered? See you later like guys okay. and then all of a sudden I was down on the ground. Okay. Restrained. Okay. Alright. But I didn't want to cause anyone to okay. I was in I was like I was already out of the park. I was doing what they wanted. I wanted to go. Alright. You didn't mean to get this intoxicated. No. You're just here to have a good time, and then yeah. okay. I tried to grab right. him well, let us do what we got to do. Okay, we're gonna try to get you no, get you it. through this process as quickly as properly and on your way. I don't want to okay? cause any problems for anyone. Okay. Sorry. James was charged with disorderly conduct and battery on a law enforcement officer.